Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Listen, trust your instincts, male or female, doesn't matter. There's something here. You, you, animals may love you. Animals may feel drawn to you, to your energy, or you may be like an animal lover here. Um, also, or you may be a caretaker or caregiver of animals, okay? Um, owl, some of you guys may be nocturnal, like you, you, <laughs> not be nocturnal, but like you might be a night owl or night owl. You may work night hours or you might like, maybe you have issues like sleeping, whatever it is, right? Or you're up late at night, okay? And but anywho, so trust your instincts because they are very strong, okay? Trust your instincts. They're very, very strong here. Um, and you may also live near woods or wooded area or have like land around you. Um, it's, now is the time for you to stay rooted and get grounded here because I feel like you guys are like going through some form of like abundant phase. With the lady energy, this is like the empress energy in this deck, okay? And it says enjoy the growth and reap rewards. So you have some form of really good abundance coming into your life where you're moving into a phase where things are just like doing very well, whether you're male or female. I know this card says lady. You could just be divine feminine and be in divine feminine energy or be very well balanced in between your divine masculine and your divine feminine energy here because the earth guardian here. This is like you being grateful, about to be grateful for something that you are getting ready to receive, I feel like. Let's see what this thing is that you're getting ready to receive here. All right, show me about this growth and rewards coming towards my collective here. This is like a harvest coming your way. So you've been maybe working very hard at something here. Mm. It's time for you guys to release any form of shame or guilt attached to any form of situation. Oh, you know what? I feel like this is somebody in your energy. This isn't you. There's someone here who who feels ashamed or guilty for either how they treated you or what they did. And this person is going through some form of karma right now. And they may want to come towards you to help them or rescue them. Borrow money. I don't... <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, see, there's somebody in your energy who misses you. And they want your forgiveness. And they're ashamed at what they did and how they acted basically here, all right? But there is an energy here, though. I'm just going to say back to you. Because if you're in this Empress energy where you're, like, creating something new or you're beginning to see the rewards of some hard work, maybe some of you all are nervous about doing hard work or whatever this is or starting a new project or whatever because there's an energy of procrastinating believe in yourself okay it's time for you to take action towards something that i feel like you guys have been really wanting to do make sure you're keeping your energy very high vibrational here high vibrational energy here so i think this person that's in your energy wants to come back towards you they know they love your energy because it's number one it's healing the lady is always, the empress is always going, is always grounded and rooted. Um, they have very, a very good aura, a very kind, nurturing aura, right? Like I said earlier, you are a kind person. Even animals are drawn to you. And this person, I feel like, although they want you, <laughs> your help and they want your forgiveness, I think right now it looks like to me you guys are choosing to do what's best for you. Okay, focus on yourself. That's what your spirit guides are telling you. No more sacrifices when it comes to love here. The only sacrifices that you spirit wants you to be taking and steps that spirit wants you to be taking right now is working towards your personal goals. Okay, your personal passions, your personal aspirations. They want you to know that you can do it. There's someone here new in your energy. You got a new lover, someone here that sees you, they're attracted to you. They see how kind and nurturing and caring and loving that you are, and they're gonna ask you out. Spirit is saying, say yes, okay? First thing that came to my mind is say yes to the dress. I haven't seen that in so long. I don't even know if that show still comes on TV. Does it still come on TV? Anywho, so Spirit wants you to say yes. It's meant for you. 
beautiful energy. Let's pull some tarot and see what this is about. What else does this uh, the collective need? Yeah, whoever this person is that wants your forgiveness, they want your forgiveness because they were in the Seven of Swords energy here. They broke your heart. Um, for some of you, this person is, you know, smooth and they have they can say the right things at time, but they lied to you. They were deceptive. They were dishonest. They are now in the shame of it. And now this person is in this Three of Swords energy. And I feel like that's just regret. Karma. <laughs> They're getting their karma. Show me what. Oh, yeah. I told you guys. This is Empress energy. Look. This is coming towards you. You're reaping the success and the rewards from something here. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Seven of Cups in reverse here. I don't know why this, these are was in reverse. No confusion, no illusions. This could be you coming out of feeling unsure. This is kind of giving like if you've been daydreaming about something you really, really want, right? Um, you know, um, it's coming to you, okay? Ace of Pentacles is a new stable offer. Yeah, there's something new here coming towards you. Two of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Okay, this is good. More money coming out of yeah. You guys are. I'm telling you, you guys are coming out of any anxiety, any confusion. Um, you know, this is great. This is great energy. Six of Cups. You're about to be really happy. I also feel like there's somebody here who you know. That's also around your energy. This person who regrets, they're getting karma. They want to come out of this um, nine of swords energy. I'm telling you, ace of, ace of um, wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This is a new passion and something coming towards you. Could be this past person wanting to rekindle something here too with you. You walked away from them, eight of, eight of cups, or this is you walking away from something else and walking right into your passions. Let's get one more. Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, there's something that you do for work. That's great. Now, the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords is here again. So I kind of feel like this past person that you had this ending with, they want to work something out with you. Nine of Wands. It's like they now they want to come in after doing whatever it is that they did. They want to come out of this anxiety. This person can't sleep. They feel awful and shameful and guilty about maybe choosing someone else here. Cho maybe for some of you guys, choosing another commitment. They were giving to more than one person here, um, you know, and now they want to rebuild and reconnect with you and reconcile. Okay, but I feel like this ship has sailed. You guys are not interested in that. Let's do some clarification. Look at that. I told you this person is just like Ace of Cups. Yeah. Show me this Nine of Swords in reverse. Why is the Nine of Swords in reverse here? Yeah, the Empress. I told you that's you. Yes. This is you, Collective, coming out of feeling any form of anxiety, being nervous, Look at this. I'm telling you, Two of Cups, you either have something, not either, you do. In the future, you have something coming towards you that can, can, this can be both. This can be a passionate new start because we already say we see a new person in your energy that they want to ask you out on a date, right? I feel like whoever this person is, they're a gift, a gift giver. They're a planner. Um, this is somebody here that you could meet maybe along your way on your pur purpose and your path or your passion. And uh, you could meet this person at work or something of that effect here. Or there could be like a you teaming up or partnering with this person, especially with this Two of Cups energy and this Three of Pentacles energy. You know what I'm saying? Like you and this new person, it's like freaking frack. It's like you two are going to like be drawn into each other. We did see that six of cups early too. So this person could be a soulmate. I mean, show me this three of pentacles, please. Show me, yeah, three of cups. 
this is going to be a reason. You've got several reasons to celebrate here. I feel like either this is somebody you meet around a, a group of friends or coworkers or something like that, or you've definitely got something that's celebrating. Um, there's a reason to celebrate here regardless. Huh. Show me more about this Three of Pentacles. Five of Cups. <sighs> Boy, I tell you, this could have been somebody who had you in a third party. That's why this person is ashamed. They're in a lot of shame and regret and guilt and remorse. This could also be you. I don't know. But either way, this person wants to come in, make something right here. Uh, like I said, I feel like this person is getting their karma. But also, you are getting your karma, too, and our karma is going to be very, very good. I'm telling you, King of Cups on the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups and the Sun card and the Chariot here. Like, this is happiness. So, you're either coming out of this regret, shame, and guilt, or this person is going to be sitting in the shame, regret, and guilt when you get this new beginning. You're getting ready to be very happy, okay? Lots of Cancer energy here, Leo energy here. Taurus energy here. I mean, really, in Libra. Yeah, but you could be any of these signs. Show me this person in this file of cups. Yeah. This person either made the wrong choice um, and they held back from you because they were dealing with somebody else and juggling somebody else. Show me this person in this file of cups. Or this could be you having to, or uh, they may have juggled you with a queen of, pent a queen of pentacles. Um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, they don't have, they didn't, they don't have to be, you know. But there's a new beginning for you either way with a soulmate. Like I said, somebody who's going to want to invest some time, effort, and energy into you. Seven of Pentacles and Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Show me about this uh, past person who's in the shame, regret, and remorse. You guys, this person is like in their feelings over you. They definitely, I feel like, either chose somebody else or, and they feel abandoned by you too. This person is really emotional in their feelings right now. Again, five of cups energy, we know, right? Um, they feel like they got kicked to the curb, you know? This person wants to fight. They want to come in and claim and fight, you know. Didn't we see the Nine of Wands earlier here, too? So this is Nine of Wands energy for sure. But I don't think you really want to talk to this person. This says trash, throw away, getting rid of, and tossing out, and bugaboo. I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to hear from them. You're not interested. Um, if things are not going well with this person, if they chose somebody else here, um, you know, this person could have got caught in some form of other, like, compromising position with the person that they chose. This could be Pisces energy here, Gemini energy here, Taurus energy. Show me more about this person and shame and regret. You guys have a new beginning coming towards you. <clears throat> you guys have some, you're in some form of alignment that's bringing in something. You're, you're like creating something. Like whatever you were daydreaming about or like whatever you've been trying to manifest, like it's coming, it's like becoming, it's going to be real, okay? It's going to be real, I'm telling you. Um, and Spirit is saying, take action towards your destiny. It says new beginnings in alignment, magical and powerful. You guys are very magical and powerful, whether you know it or not here. Um, the number 28 could be significant or the number 82 could be born in 1982. Taking action towards your destiny, creator of your own reality. <clears throat> Excuse me, creator of, your, creator of your own reality through powers of manifesting. Okay. Destiny. You were destined to meet. There is someone here that you were destined to meet. Um, 333 could be a sign of synchronicity that you've been seeing. Um, you were born and destined to meet this person. Strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love, and strong desire, deep inner knowing, and divine connection. Trust your instincts when this person comes in towards you. It's like you manifested this person. Spirit said, no, we're going to talk about the new person, which I love. Because, you know, I try to 
sometimes I feel like most of the times when I ask about the old person, the um, new person, spirit still tells me about the old one. Show me more here, man. What else does the collective need to know? Yeah, okay. Here's this past person. <laughs> the past person is like texting you, writing messages or emailing you or whatever, and they're deleting them. They want to talk to you so bad. This person is unawakened. Okay, this says I'm fearful of letting go with what I have and what I know. What you're asking of me is impossible and it makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. This person is stuck in fear. Okay, they're afraid of like losing their old life and becoming somebody new. Um, and they don't know what that looks like because they are just stuck in their comfort zone. You know, there's something missing, but this person is like in denial. Okay. They are ignoring what the connection was. And I think honestly, you guys are not even concerned about that anymore at this point. Um, this person, maybe for some of you, didn't admit their true feelings for you. They thought they think about reaching out to you all the time because they're in this shame, regret, remorse, and guilt, right? But they haven't said anything to you because they're like really apprehensive. <clears throat> which is why this uh, Two of Pentacles earlier came out like challenging and crossing um, with this uh, with the strength card. That's because this person's stuck in fear and guilt. Like they are back and forth. They're just in their head and they're afraid. Because it's like you, you ch kind of challenge this person, I feel like, you know, um, to grow. And this person was not ready to do that. Okay. I feel like you guys have reinvented yourselves. Um, <clears throat> you're just turning into this emperor or this empress here. You have transformed your mind, your body, and your spirit. And I feel like, you know, this person, they are unawakened and they're refusing to do that. Um, even though you've done it, okay? You've, you've become something better. You've done the shadow work. But I feel like this person is still weak. They don't have enough strength as you do collective to do this. Like you've done this telepathic yeah i'm telling you this person's thinking of you this person is i think you guys have been noticing a lot of patterns and images or music or whatever that is you're connected because you are in alignment <clears throat> but this person also may be seeing synchronicity signs things that remind them of you music that may remind you um remind them of you also but I think whatever this is that's coming towards you, like literally there's going to be something that you need to take a big leap of faith and say yes to, okay? Because this is going to affect, it's going to be like a major turning point in your life. Um, and it's going to alter the course of how you grow into this person, right? How you grow into this empress. So when this comes your way, Where's that ace of? When this comes your way, make sure you guys are in this energy because I feel like this is going to be a very critical part of your path, of your new life, you know? What else for the collective do they need to know? This person can't stop thinking about you from the past. There, you know why this person's so afraid here? Because they know you've changed and they're, they're still stuck in their comfort zone and their old behavior, their old ways. They, um, I'm going to show you this. I can't stop thinking about you. Am I good enough for you? They just, you know, they love your energy, but they feel like they haven't. And they haven't. Um, past ex-lover, yeah. Um... <laughs> Look, you guys, whoever this ex-lover is has a karmic, the person that they chose over you, this third party. The third party is nothing like you, okay? Um, again, I'm telling you guys, like this person, she ain't you, he isn't you, whoever this person is. Um, <clears throat> and Libra on the top of the deck. So some of y'all have Libra in your chart or dealing with Libra. Um, yeah. <sighs> It is what it is, you guys. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I, I love you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Zodiac signs here are Leo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely lots of Libra. Did I say Leo already? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Love you guys. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like it here. Bye.